perfect. You're alert? Please forgive me. I have a habit of being a little too eager when it comes to my experiments, though this is more of an exploratory study, if you will. Now, maybe a little disoriented, your vision may go in and out a bit in terms of focus, but I assure you, you came here of your own volition, and you signed a waiver here, as well as a consent form. This right here, this is your signature, is it not? It is? Wonderful. So, you are indeed here. Of your own knowledge, but the events in between may be a little fuzzy. They will come back to you, I promise. Now, you have so gracefully and graciously offered me your uh, volunteering for this particular experiment, and it is one that I am extremely I was just musing about what parts of the brain I would like to focus on. See, when one does an experiment, they want a, a core phrase, sentence, question. Now this is more exploratory in that my core phrase is a little open, and in this I want to study the core phrase, how might unfamiliar sensory information affect the relaxation and in turn sleep? So this is sort of an informal sleep experiment. I have a few things I need to make sure they are secure. We have some electrodes that are along the head and on the chest as well. I want to make sure those are secure, and they will be monitoring your brain waves, of course, we will be monitoring your heart rate, as well as your respiratory rate, in addition to some other bits and bobs. But I am going to just adjust these and make sure they are secure. What's that? No, of course. Of course this is not going to hurt. To what end? No, I mean, to what end would it benefit me if you were to be hurt and I lost a very valuable subject? Yes. Now, I am going to adjust these fittings and wires, if you don't mind. Wonderful. Now, on the head here. There. Do let me know. If any of these are too tight, if there is too much restriction, or perhaps there is a feeling of numbness. There. I'll just very gently. I don't want to disturb the wires, you see. But I want to make sure that these are tightly on. Yeah. Now 
I do have your name, although that is not necessarily important, but I would like to know a little bit about you in terms of our experiment. So, where were you born? Hmm. And where do you live now? Don't have to be so specific as to give me an address, I have no need for that either, but a general geographical region would be helpful. City, of course, would be the best. Hmm. Hmm. See, I think I have some, some other patients from that general area. I did a bit of canvassing, I suppose, for lack of a better word. Advertising at a local college seems to have greatly increased my my rates of applications being sent in. Right, you did send in an application, that is why I have your signature and the waiver consent form. It'll come back in time, I promise you. Let's see. And then this one. Just do your best to relax. Otherwise, it may put the machine in a bit of a fit. I don't like recalibrating these things. Hmm. And. I know where you are from and where you were born. Tell me a little bit about your background. What is it that you do to keep a roof over your head? Hmm. And I think that one. Hmm. Tricky things. No, I am still listening. I apologize, these... These wires are still a bit stiff. It's only recently that I had decided to monitor um, biofeedback information. I had just recorded information on, on a vibe, if you will, before but the study is much more valuable when one has concrete data, as it turns out. Um, I figured one might be taken more seriously if they had more evidence as opposed to anecdotes. I think that'll do it. Let me just check the other electrodes lower on the body, and then we can start. And pray tell, what is your age? Really? Hmm. No, that was... That was no presumptuous hum. It was merely an observation hum, an acknowledgement hum. Hmm. No, I think those quite good and the wires Let's say that's that's in quite quite well I think. Now I had half a mind to get the more boring, not as relevant details out of the way. However, I have seen that a little bit of a 
of staggering of the things that may be affected more and the things that may not have as much significance if I mix them as opposed to going in a line of significance, then I have gotten better results. So, we will be working with the five main senses, the sight, the taste, the touch, the hearing, what have you. And while there are many other senses other than that, vibration, pain, temperature, those are not as relevant in this particular application. And to start, I would like to begin with touch. And I'd like to start a little informally. Now, I am going to be poking and prodding at you, and in the case of some instruments, might be tapping at you, or stroking at you, although this might be a little more pleasant here. And I will be monitoring your, your heart rate, your brain waves, and what have you, and see what effect it may have on relaxation and if you happen to sleep. Let us start with the with the cold metal tool here. And I'm just going to come in here and let's do a little just gentle constant pressure. And if at any point you have any feedback to give me in terms of what feels best, what may not feel as good, what may be more effective. So the constant pressure is not doing much for you. And what if I were to do just a... Like that. Almost a poking. More gentle. Just a light stroking with the tool. What of that? I suppose we will move further. This wooden stick here. And what if I were to jump?
is refine the technique in that perhaps it could be used in the future wouldn't believe the amount of time, effort, and money, of course, that people will spend in order to get a true deep sense of relaxation or therapeutic sleep. Just pay attention to the stimulus Unfortunately, the nature of my work needed a bit more space than my apartment held, and as it turns out, the only open area suitable for a laboratory that were my budget happened to be in a warehouse. And thus, many signs. Let us try the wood, but in this concentrated point. Now, this will not break the skin, of course. Merely will be just a very small point of contact. If I were to just poke around. Tell me a little bit about what this sensation is like. And is it better if it is varied? And what if I were to have you close your eyes? It's a little bit better. A little bit of variety. And perhaps closing the eyes may be, may be advantageous to this end. And what about if the object was softer? And perhaps there's a bit more of a gentle caress to it. And then, what if we were to vary it up? Hmm. What if you were to close your eyes? So I just very gently stroke. And I think last touch sensory item. As we have already used the cold metal tool, we will not need this end, but we have a little synthetic brush here. Very soft. And it could be made with more concentrated point of contact, but I think we will let the bristles be 
little less limited in their movement. And we will try to marry all of those different, all of those different little ideas that we have. And so we move on. Now we will do a little bit of work with the, the sense of smell, and how it could have an effect on relaxation, on sleep. I have some tins, and these have different scents bordering on what is commonly known as more stimulating scents, and then ones that are more commonly known to be relaxing. And if you could just take a little smell of this. Tell me what that smells like. What do you think this smells like? Peppermint. Very good. And as you smell this, how does this make you feel? So there doesn't seem to be much difference in your, your heart rate, your breathing. Now, let's try something else. In this other tin, take a good smell of this. Something much different. What does this smell like to you? That is indeed a lemon scent, and that got the heart rate a little up. Brain waves are a little spiked, and it looks like was just all in all a little more stimulating than peppermint. If we were to use this one. Tell me a little bit about this scent. Vanilla? 
indeed. And that did drop that back down. Vanilla. Scent of warmth. Scent of often baked goods. And... What of this? I see. So, that was more of a musky scent, oftentimes paired with vanilla in fragrance, but that one was not as effective as I thought it might be. And what of this? This is the last one. She wonder when I may have pulled this one out. I said typically used for relaxation. One's mind always goes to lavender, does it not? Hmm. That one seems to be neutral on you as well. So in this particular application, it seems that vanilla, in fact, had the most effect on you. And then, I will give you just a moment. And I must gather the next sensory information, which would be taste. And I have a little stick here, so I will not be placing anything on your tongue, save for with this stick. We do want to keep this sanitary. And I will just have you pop out your tongue, and I will coat it with this taste. We'll do it just like we did the smell. Tell me a little bit about this taste. Yes, it wasn't exactly neutral, but not necessarily relaxing either. More of a cozy feeling. That would be our savory taste. And what about this one? That one is more stimulating, so that was the sour. That would be quite a spike there. Both heart rate, brain waves, respiration. What about this? Oh. Hmm. Not a fan of that one, are we? Let's use the other side of the stick then. Not get any of the remnants, so that was bitter. Bitter. What of this? Hmm, stimulating still. That would be sweet. We have one last one, and I am not sure what to hypothesize. Would it be more not necessarily relaxing, but not stimulating like the savory? Or will it be more stimulating like the rest? Hmm. That one's a tricky one. That one is known as umami. It's more of a, a meaty flavor. That one doesn't have too much effect. 
that is quite peculiar, I think. Let's see. So, bitter was the most stimulating. It seemed to be the most unpleasant. While savory. was technically the most relaxing. Very good. Now we will move on to the sense of hearing. Now for this, I'm going to do a little bit of administration like we had done with the, the taste, but these will be in your ears. Now, this is something that has been tested a bit, absolutely, and it is still undergoing testing. However, you are also just doing this exploratory study, so we're going to use it on you. For this, I will have just a bit. It's just a bit of liquid. The dosing seems to have been workshopped a bit better. So we will only need to do approximately one drop each time. Let me see. Right, so we are just going to very very gently do you good. And then if you could tip your head over. Let's administer this on the other side. And then we will shift your head to this side. Hold that there. For some, this can be incredibly pleasant, but for some they do not enjoy it as much, which is why we have a few different, a few different things we can try, but you seem to, to at least not be overstimulated by it what it ends up being in the end. We will just have to wait and see. Now I will just be speaking a bit in either ear, and that way you get the full effect. And after some time we will administer a little bit more, and that will change the effect. may sound, may influence the relaxation factor, or perhaps for sleep. But as it turns out, a lot of people, and I suppose I am speaking anecdotally, they do quite enjoy the sound to be distorted, whether it's reverberation,
Some people quite like that as well. Some people do not. That is why we are testing this. So I suppose I will have to eventually clean up my application so that it might be accepted as a scientific study. Hmm? Well, no, I'm not a, a... I don't want to say true scientist because aren't we all true scientists? Those that follow the path of science, aren't we true scientists? schooling. Who needs that, right? It's just a bunch of dusty books written by dusty people. No. I like to be a little more practical, a little more hands-on. And so, that is why we have the warehouse laboratory with some ambience. Lends to the laboratory feel. I suppose I will give you that it more feels like an evil laboratory. I don't like to use such adjectives. I like to say just more affordable. It's an affordable laboratory. I think that's been long enough, and I think we can administer the next set. You just hold still. And then we tip the head over. There. Let it relax. Funnel in. Good. Good. Tell me a bit about your first impressions. How does this sound compare to the other? I will also be watching different biofeedback information as well. I see. Interesting responses, biologically. And tell me about what you are experiencing. Relaxation and sleep. Mm -hmm. You can mull it over a bit. It may take a little bit of time, which is why I will be speaking a little bit so that you can really wrap your head around the words. Really let the mind taste them. See how it affects you, how it affects your body, how you feel. Special mind to how you are experiencing the world. How does everything sound? Mm -hmm. I see. Let it go just a little bit longer before we move on to the last type of effect. And then after this, we only have one sense left to test. 
And this one will be a little more simple for you, I think, especially as the longer we go on with this experiment, the more slippery the results can be, as you may just be tiring. We don't want you to be too tired for you to give us proper feedback. And with that, we will give you Let that settle. Now, what are our impressions of this particular sound? How does this make you feel? How do you think it makes you feel? What is it not doing? Hmm. I see. Well, we'll monitor this for a little bit in time. And then we will see about the visual aspect. Now, with the vision, it was a bit difficult. But I knew, certainly, that I wanted it towards the end of the test, as that is something that seems to be a bit easier for one to describe and experience. Touch, yes, to a point, and certainly hearing, of course, but vision. Vision was something that was a bit of a... But I think I came up with something that uh, certainly works, I think. And I think that, well, speaking as the person who designed it, that I would find it quite relaxing for the end of this experiment. And I think perhaps that the the sound is, is going to be starting to fade away now. These particular drops do not last as long as they did when they first were developed. Now it's more of a few minute affair. Although the strength has been a little bit wily to pin down from what I hear as far as formulation is concerned. Now, tell me a little bit about what that was like for you. The different effects.
As I said before, it was a little difficult to ascertain specifically what I wanted to do. But this particular part is a little interesting in that every time I run my hand over your vision, it's going to change a little. Every time I run my hand over your face, things will change a little bit. How exactly has your vision changed right now? Hmm. And what if I were to do this? Does this evoke any sort of feeling, any sort of thought? Hmm. And what if I were to do this? I see. Interesting. Good. And how about this? What is this like for you? What sort of sensations, what sort of thoughts flitting through your mind are coming up for you? Hmm. I think we'll try just a few more before I think you will be in a state that I think none of my stimuli could really touch. Let's try this once more. And how is this? Is it more comfortable? More soothing? Does it make you feel a little more sleepy, perhaps? What about this? What about that? How does this affect you? I see. Let's do one last one, I think. Pass my hand over your face and the visual should change just a little bit. Just very gradual. I think that is part of the draw is it is gradual. I will leave you to bask in the sensations that the different sensory testing has given you. Looks like, looks like you are just on your way to a good, I hope, bit of sleep. I appreciate your participation, and I think this information will be extraordinarily important, especially since, well, you really are my first subject, so this will pave the way for much smoother testing in the future. Thank you so much. Good night. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I create primarily medical alternative medicine slash pseudoscience and personal attention ASMR role plays. If you want to check out a specific category of my videos, my channel plays
Texas.